This is a list of cathedrals throughout the realm. We haven't even begun this exploration. I'm very excited and also overwhelmed. At some point, I will look at all of these cathedrals. And what I'm hoping to do is shine some perspective on the sheer number of cathedrals throughout this realm. Many built in a time before power tools, before automobiles, and sliced bread. And for the most part, all built in the same style. A people separated by thousands of miles, no phones or internet, not sharing the same beliefs or customs we are told, yet somehow they all manage to build cathedrals in the same Greco-Roman style. It would be one thing to think that you want to build in this style, but to find architects, engineers, skilled craftsmen, and labor in a time period where the population was at its smallest, we are told, they somehow managed to build these works of wonder. And today, I simply want to focus on cathedrals. But anybody who watches these videos knows that this style is used for every kind of building in the old world. This could be a city hall, a courthouse, a post office, an observatory, a school, or a tomb. No exception in every country and city. Welcome. Now, of course, not surprising to find in Europe, as this seems to fit in the narrative we are given. It's when we find them in the more exotic places. Here, for example, is one in North Korea, and not looking very North Korean. Here are some cathedrals in Sri Lanka, very beautiful, but quite honestly not looking like a cathedral and no talk of its construction, or at least how, of course, instead giving us a date of its consecration. Nonetheless, they began in 1782 and completed it in 1902. St. Lucia's City Hall looking cathedral. And mind you, we're still in Sri Lanka. Here we have the St. Sebastian's Cathedral. Always a dome and a cupola on top, and always a St. Mary's. In this case, we have two St. Mary's. This one was started in 1874, 147 years ago. And this baby actually looks like the Alamo. If you've ever seen some of the earliest pictures of what the Alamo looked like, but in this case, sharing the same feelings for architecture as the Sri Lankans. And the Cathedral of the Blessed Virgin Mary in Bangkok, of course. And these beautiful doorways that I love with these polished columns and the same style, looking like a little machine with its little frequency cymatic window generator, most likely having organ pipes and the two towers. And is there a dome around here? Same builders. And here's a look at it in 1922. And look at what they call it. Assumption Cathedral. They just assumed it. It's exactly what they're telling us. I'm surprised they don't call it repurposed cathedral. And nobody around, both today and yesterday. Here giving us a construction story beginning in 1809. This was the request of a French missionary, Father Pascal. The building was almost destroyed in World War II, and the same narrative, rebuilt, blah blah blah. So that was Thailand. How about Vietnam? What's going on in Nam? Ah, of course, the Immaculate Conception Cathedral Basilica in Ho Chi Minh City. Rose windows, three doorways or arched entryways, and two spires on towers. Vietnam. And here, finally, something different. This is the Cathedral of Phat Diem in Vietnam. And now this seems to me much older than the style that we're looking at now, but yet exhibiting this same feature. Three entryways, arched, 
two towers, and I'm sure in its glory, it had windows. And this thing has just been stripped and weathered by many different factors. But, all around, we see our same style. And this baby has been through hell. Looks like it's been completely submerged by water at one point. In Vietnam. And here again, the Cathedrals of Fat Diem. So you have all these cathedrals packed in this area, it seems. This district in Vietnam, and absolutely mind-blowing. Three entryways, two towers, and as we've seen in so many photos, most ornamentation, spires, tech, are removed by the time we ever see them only discovering how elaborate they were from older photographs. And again, not just one or two, but a couple dozen in Vietnam alone. And how about Peru? Here we go. Unbelievable. And all of these lying in somewhat of ruin today. Not enough people today to attend many of these churches. Many of them are just lying in ruin, now being used for other functions, and were to believe that there was such a demand for impossible structures in this early time period. Here is the Cathedral Basilica of St. Charles in Puno, and here we go. Again, looking like the Alamo, and you see how they've stuck a clock up here, whereas this is what may have been originally here. Here we have one bell, was there another bell? And no doubt, the same function, same people, and here's the list in Peru. Just mind-blowing. And here we get an example of one in Trujillo, Peru. The Cathedral Basilica of St. Mary. A very original name with all of these. And here it looks like they've stuccoed and painted it, but in this case we still see the domes on top, which I believe were a key part of the function for all of these machines. And St. Jerome Cathedral is in the city of Ica, Peru. And I'm not sure if this is an illusion or if it's really built with this twisting dome. Absolutely mind-blowing. Let's see if we can't zoom into that a little more. There we go. Amazing, amazing. This is a great picture. We can see the original brick underneath and the facade crumbling off. Absolutely fascinating. I'd love to see these pictures in an even better resolution. But just to give you an idea of what's lying in ruin in Peru. And more importantly, that we're still dealing with this same style. And here's a glorious one. And here again we see this year consecrated. 1668. Let's look at this baby. Absolutely mind-blowing. This thing is completely over the top. Look at these people down here. Look at these doors. Even the small doors are massive compared to this person. Unbelievable. And same style. The Cusco Cathedral. And I'm pretty sure the Lord does not require or insist on such places of worship. Let's see what's going on in China. Here is a list of cathedrals, Roman Catholic in China, St. Francis, and of course every region just throws their little signs up, but otherwise the exact same architecture. Columns, real shiny ones these. Three doorways, and typically a rose window, in this case they've thrown a clock up here. Again, not things that I think the Lord insists upon, but here in China. And here's a mind blower. Very traditional style. The Saint Ignatius Cathedral in Shanghai. Three entryways, two towers, two spires, rose window. Saint Michael's Cathedral in Qingdao. And the Sacred Heart Cathedral in Jinan. And really cool. We have five frequency portholes in this one. Three doorways, two towers. Nothing to do with China. And here's another Sacred Heart Cathedral. This one is in Guangzhou, looking exactly like the one we just looked at. Three entryways, mega rose window, two towers, two spires. Man doing a little work on it, it looks like. His trusty little ladder. And looks like it's in ruins and hasn't been used in hundreds of years. And we haven't even scratched the surface here in China. St. Joseph, St. Francis, looking like the one in Peru. Another Sacred Heart. 
in Shenyang, mind-blowing with this little monument, which is absolutely working in conjunction with this piece of tech. This reminding me of anything in America that we've repurposed into soldier and sailor's monuments and whatnot. A beautiful building. And again, a facade of a Romanesque style cathedral with three spires. So what is certain is there is no Romanesque style and there is no Roman. This is beyond Greek and Roman, is what I hope that I am showcasing here today. When a style of building can be found all throughout this realm, seemingly built by the hands of the same people, it's pretty safe to assume that they were not built by the present cultures that we find in these regions today. And this one, the St. Joseph's Cathedral, also known as Dong Tang, is in Beijing. Now let's have a little look at Africa. Here we see all the different regions and their cathedrals. I thought we'd start with Algeria and St. Augustine's Basilica. Very beautiful. And some of them don't want to show up. But just to give you a feel of what this one must have looked like, just look at this bridge. I'm sure very nearby. And look at this interesting tech up here. And here's a few of them in Rwanda. And a whole bunch in Ghana. Not showing us very many photos, but a whole bunch of them. Here's a look at the Cathedral of Basilica. And I would love to look at all of these. I'll have to research them on their own. And in Senegal. Here we go, still having the dome, the two towers, and clearly refacaded. And this dome, with its little nubs, really reminding me of the Lady of Elche's head. And I have no doubt her, her head ornaments are all tech related. As were kings, crowns, and scepters, and devices that George Washington can be found leaning on. All tech. And all of these buildings had to be turned into something. You have two choices. You either demolish them and reuse the building material, or you repurpose them to suit the narrative. In this case, the narrative which is accepted in every nation is Catholicism. And this is clear. But it's not the whole picture. Because we could do the same thing with courthouses, post offices, city buildings, and schools, as I mentioned before, and we would get the same picture painted. Assignments for old world buildings in all these nations. And here a whole bunch in Tanzania. Some of my favorite coffee comes from Tanzania. And what wonders and ridiculous narratives would be presented by examining all these cathedrals. And here's a mind blower in Madagascar the St. Lawrence Angelican Cathedral. And nobody has bothered to upload these pictures. Here's a Roman Catholic Church in Malawi. Boom. And this is apparently on Likoma Island. Just in another category of its own, in my opinion, when something is on an island. Adding so many more complications to the believability of their narratives. And next, let's look at America. The United States is, according to some measures, home to the largest cathedral in the world. The Cathedral of St. John the Divide in New York City. And here she is. And looking to be in ruins, if I'm seeing this correctly. Missing part of the tower and the roof. And yet by now... We know it's the same design as all the others, with a little extra flair, even. Not only the three doorways, but an extra two. So let's see what Cathedrals America has to offer, besides the world's largest. And again, many of these don't look like cathedrals. They look like city hall buildings or any other government municipality in that time. They would simply knock off the towers, and we have a perfectly suited building for anything, but not looking like a cathedral. 
and I think this would have been a smaller machine. And here's one in Los Angeles. Now again, this style or integration of form in order to create a machine seems to be employed in all the buildings. Here we're told this is a cathedral, and yet having, again, more of a municipal feel to it, but still employing the three entryways and the rose window, but rather than two towers on each side, we have this triangular shape and a spire on the back. The Cathedral of St. Vibiana on Main Street at 2nd Street in downtown Los Angeles, 1888. And just looking like a strange place to go to church. And how about one in Colorado, in Denver, Boom. And again, a miniature version of what we might see at the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, but very impressive here in Denver, in the Rockies. And when was she built? Started in 1902, completed in 1911. No problemo for the cowboys of the Rocky Mountains. And good old Idaho, we thank you for the potatoes. And our three doorways, two towers, rose window, cymatic frequency tech. And we're just talking about one specific pattern today. What I haven't mentioned, yet have in many other videos, is that every single one has stairs going up to the doors and doors underneath ground level. As I've showcased before in Salt Lake City, there's a whole other floor under all of these structures. But the mud flood is not the point of today's video. We have dozens and dozens, and sprinkled in there are some that just don't belong. This is so stupid to call this a cathedral. I've seen high schools that look like this, and of course I don't believe they were built as high schools, but nonetheless, this is lazy to throw a cross up on the roof and call this a cathedral. Handicap accessibility? Not of this cathedral. And Newark? New Jersey. Hello, Lord. This baby is absolutely mind-blowing. Again, forget about going to Europe. We're going to Newark. Look at this thing. Look at the tech up here. Hallelujah. So, I plan on revisiting many of these, and this video is both a reference for myself as it is a share. And I think... I'm just going to wrap it up. I don't think I could stress my point anymore. By now, I think we've made a pretty good case that this architectural style can be seen in every corner of our realm. But the problem is with this research is we're so far behind. This is one of the most common buildings in the world. And yet most people don't even realize they're in their own backyards. So, for today, I thank you so much for joining me, and do have a blessed day. Please like, comment, and subscribe.